Hey guys, it's Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back. Um, we're going to do something these next couple of days. Um, it's going to be a little bit different. As you guys know, I've got a concrete slab that I'm about to get ready to put our bison handling chute on. Notice it's been cleaned off. I still have to do a couple of things to it, but it is almost ready to go. But what my wife and I are going to go do is we are going to pick up the squeeze chute and then we are also gonna drive to Texas to pick up our custom made alley system. I got two eight foot sections, um, make a total of a 16 foot alley. And we're gonna take that and our squeeze chute and we're gonna put it right over here on this big th thick uh, concrete slab. So we've got some exciting stuff happening um, and we're gonna get all this bison handling system put together and get it ready to go so we can use it here pretty soon. Stay tuned guys. All right, guys, you see it right here. We have our squeeze chute, Toro squeeze chute. I got it here in Shawnee, Oklahoma. I've been talking to these guys um, for about three months now. I came and looked at them once and I really liked them. It is a heavy duty squeeze chute and you know, gotta have that for the bison. So we've got it loaded and we're gonna take it to Doc Parsons, uh, the bison guy I always work with. Uh, the vet and he is gonna build a cage for the fun of it that we have to have for our bison when we work them uh, we can't just use this normal um, head gate here we've got to have a special cage on the front uh, like you probably saw in one of my other videos at the livestock sale or at the bison sale in sulfur uh, you've got to have that crash gate on the front for bison um, because they kind of will be aggressive and will can run try to run through it so got to have that cage on there when we work them so doc is going to build us a cage and we're going to leave it there a while for him before we take it to the house and get it set up well good morning guys um we are in loving texas and it is super windy out here always is we are in far west texas uh, we are about to go to Seminole, Texas, about an hour uh, southwest of Lubbock, and we are going to get our um, alleys, alley system, and we've got the trailer rocking and rolling. The wife and I um, are about to head out, so um, we're going to go pick up our alley systems. Alright, well hey guys, look what we got. We've got an alley system. We have a heavy duty bison handling system, custom made out here in Seminole, Texas. Far west Texas, 
southwest of Lubbock. Um, I, I called and talked to a guy named Willie, and he really helped me out. He drew up a plan uh, of what we could do for our bison um, and the alley uh, that we wanted to design. He did a great job, and um, he put this together for us, him and his guys over here at JB uh, Pipe, Seminole, Texas. But look at this, this is heavy duty. We've got sliding gates. Uh, it's just gonna be awesome. I'm really excited about it. It is heavy duty. This is this is heavy duty pipe. It's gonna be great for our bison. Um, it's, it's gonna it's gonna make things go a whole lot uh, safer and smoother. And we're gonna be able to work our bison um, at our farm, at the Cross Timbers Farm in, in Sulphur, Oklahoma. And we don't have to take them to the vet anymore. And hopefully things go better with that. And um, we're gonna take this system home, got a little bit of drive, go back to Southern Oklahoma. And um, we're excited to get it back there and set it up, so. Chop it, chop it up. We're almost getting there. We're almost getting there. We're getting there. That's what I meant. Meanwhile, the sloppy mess. Bison are still just chilling. Now, we got them on here. The concrete pad we're using is not exactly level. This is an old concrete pad used for the yeah, dairy what are you doing? barn. Yeah, what are you doing? Uh, <laughs> so we're gonna have to shim it and make it level and get these straight where ah, exactly we doing? want them now. 
Alright. Yeah, that ain't too bad. This ain't too bad. It's a little off. That ain't too bad. That's pretty. Got all the bison fed. They're doing good. Everybody's busy eating. So, but what I wanted to talk to you about. Um, so we set our alley down our two eight foot alleys that we got from west texas um what you've noticed probably is like man there's a lot of different uh videos and stuff going on well um this last this video is basically a combination of several days we had a lot going on of course it's thanksgiving and um as a teacher i get the holidays off um woohoo so um we used a lot of that time to work on bison stuff and cabin stuff and family time and Thanksgiving and those things. So it's a lot of balancing and uh, trying to keep my wife uh, happy too. I know she, bless her heart, she's so patient with me. Um, but we are hustling to get this bison um, handling system set up and we're getting a lot closer. So I just want to talk to you a little bit about that. All right, so I'm basically standing at the head gate of where um, the bison are going to come down the old alley of the dairy. This is kind of what you would call a the tub or the end of the U. And they're going to come through here, and they're going to come out and come straight down this alley. So, so got I know it's been a week-long process of, of, of driving from here to here. Picking up stuff, picking up by, uh, the um, alley systems, picking up a squeeze chute that's over at um, Doc Parson's place in Stratford. My vet guy, the guy who I bought my bison from, he's going to put that crash gate on the front and that chute's going to sit right here on the front of this. And so that's at his facility right now and he's getting that built for us. Uh, they've got to have that crash gate like I explained um so we can work them but it's a process it takes a lot of work and, and and a lot of time and patience but we are getting a lot closer and so just stay with us this is to be continued um and next time we'll have hopefully a squeeze shoot up here and we will have a full system going and then we'll show you our first process of working the bison here at the cross timbers ranch thank you guys well i hope you guys have enjoyed the process of getting this handling system put together we still have a ways to go um it, it, it takes a lot of work and it takes a lot of effort from from other um from from other people uh, my stepdad has helped us um, my wife she's been very patient and and helping she's out here she's been driving the tractor around and helping as much as she can um, neighbor let us borrow his big john deere tractor to lift these um, shoots off with or um, these alley systems off with and so it takes a lot of effort and a lot of work and um, it'll all be worth it because once we get it done um, we can work the bison see how it goes the first time and then make slight adjustments to our setup. And that may be um, moving panels around or building a little bit more fencing or, or corral panels or anything like that. So um, I hope you enjoyed the, the process of, of going and seeing um, you know, the effort that it takes to raise these animals. And my, I just have a small farm of them you know, here. Um, and so uh, we're getting there as a startup bison um farm we're getting a lot closer but once you have a handling system things are going to be a lot better i promise and that way we don't have to take them to the vet or any place like that um, to get them work so uh it's a long process 
but we're getting there and you got to see that over just a week right there of, of traveling around um, all over Oklahoma and over in West Texas. Thank you guys. Um, check out our website um, at crosstimbersbison.com. You can check us out on Facebook. You can check us out on Instagram and you can still go to the store. Um, I've got some hats up there. I've got some new hats coming. You may want to check that out and we still have our t-shirts up there. Thank you guys.